Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a tag that I want to participate in and it is called, now I hope I get the title right, Things You Didn't Know About Me and Five Emotions Inside Inside Out Tag. I think that's the title. Um, I saw this tag being done by Lady Alley over at Decor Home and Lifestyle. So she just recently did this tag. So, you know, if you know me, you know I like doing tags because I think they're fun. I mean, it gives you a chance to get to know me and I just like answering fun questions. So there are five emotions. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Number one, the first one is joy. Now, what brings me joy is when my family is doing well, my husband, my children, um, my parents, when they're doing well and everything's going good, you know, nobody is sick or in the hospital or anything like that. That brings me joy. I mean, there's a lot of things that bring me joy, but these are the only ones that I could think of off the top of my head because um, I did write some of these answers down, you know, what I wanted to share with you guys. And to be honest with you, I couldn't think of a whole lot. You know, I don't know why. But the, the second thing that brings me joy, now I have to say me and Allie, we have this in common, um, shopping. I love to shop, I really do. I love shopping for jewelry, number one. <laughs> um, I'm a gold jewelry, diamond type of girl. So I love jewelry, just ask my family, especially my husband, they will tell you, yes, she likes jewelry. Um, getting back to jewelry, this is so funny. Before I got married, um, me and my daughter used to go to the mall all the time. And it just seemed like, just seems like I'm, I was addicted to shopping for jewelry. It just seems like I could not go in the mall and just walk in there and, you know, look at all the stores without stopping by a jewelry store. I mean, every time. And because I'm serious, that jewelry was calling my name. It literally was. And, and I would take out, whip out the card and say, Toop. you know, let me go ahead and get some rings and all these diamonds and everything, necklaces and things like that. So I'm glad I don't do that anymore because I mean, that can get pretty costly and you know, I don't want to be in debt anymore. I did get in debt over that a long, long time ago, but I stopped doing that one. So jewelry and of course home decor. I love doing, I mean, I love uh, buying home decor. I feel very happy and joyful when I can go into stores, especially if I have enough money, you know, looking at everything that they have in the store and trying to decide, okay, what am I gonna get? Ooh, let me get this, let me get that. I mean, you just feel happy. I don't know any lady who does not like to shop, you know, but that does, Shopping really does bring me joy. So I could go on and on, but I won't. Number two, the second emotion would be anger. Now there are a lot of things that bring me angry, you know, that makes me angry. Um, number one, I can't stand when people don't wear their mask properly. And when I, when I mention that, I mean, I'm basically talking about employees, but I'm talking about everybody too, especially the employees when you go into businesses. They have their mask and I should have put it on so you guys will know, but you'll know. When they have it on, but they got it down here and all the nose and stuff is just uncovered, that, that irks me. I mean, it just makes me so annoyed and angry that I just want to say, would you please put your mask on all the way? If you're going to wear it, you might as well wear it the right way, right? So that, you know, that makes me a little angry. Um, that falls into the category of annoyed. I do get annoyed, but I get angry too. So yeah. And let me see one other thing. Let me see. Oh yeah these current gas prices. Now I know this brings very uncomfortable feelings for mostly everybody, unless you're just so rich that you don't care, you know, but I care. I mean, these gas prices, and I believe they're gonna go down in due time, but they, whew, 
it's kind of a hardship. It really is. I mean, for a lot of people. I heard on the news that some people are giving up their jobs, they're quitting their jobs because they can't afford to get to work. You know, they could take a bus, but maybe they don't want to, or take a train or something like that. But that's what I heard on the news. But that's so, it's so annoying and it's, it's just upsetting that these prices are as high as they are. Now, I don't know, I don't actually fill up the tank. My husband or my son does it, but I think the gas price is here, if I'm not mistaken, because I forgot. I think it's about $6, if not more. Don't quote me on it, but yeah, so gas prices, and I don't wanna go too deep into that because, I mean, that will really make the blood pressure go up. <laughs> Tension, headache, for you know, for days. So, so the next uh, emotion would be disgust. Well, I call it disgust slash anger because I get angry too. Um, when businesses, you know, that you're talking to, let's say you're talking on the phone with a business and they have to put you on hold. I can't stand it when they put you on hold for ever so long, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, without even coming back to check with you and say, I'm sorry for the long wait, I'm just checking this, I just want to let you know, you know, be professional about it. I can't stand that because I was on a business call recently with someone and they told me to hold on. Now I didn't know what I was holding on for, I just figured they were going to get their their computer set up or get into the screen where they would, you know, make me an appointment. And I didn't know what they were doing. So I was on hold for like nine minutes, it was 10 minutes, and I just said, uh-uh. So I hung up, called back, told them who I was, gonna go through all the preliminary things again. And they said, oh, uh, you spoke to so-and-so and she's talking to the other department. And I'm like, well, why didn't she tell me that? You know, or, or I could have left you my, you know, my phone and my, um, my phone number and my name, and you could have called me back once you did what you had to do. You know, maybe she didn't know how long it was going to take, but she still should have came back. Professional businesses, professional customer service, you will come back to that caller because I used to be a customer service uh, for Blue Cross. Okay, now I was trained that if you have the caller on the line for so many minutes, you get back to them and let them know that you have not forgotten about them. Um, sorry for the long wait, you just want to let them know. And if they, and give them the opportunity to leave their name and number with you so you can call them back if it takes too long. But anyway, this company did not, so I was just so annoyed. I mean, I had a tension headache. Ugh, but anyway. <laughs> That's what makes me angry slash disgust, okay? Um, let me see. Yeah, there's other things that make me angry. Um, yeah, one other thing. I'm gonna try not to say this too loud. Um, my window's closed, but my neighbors. Have you ever had neighbors where they have multiple, multiple cars? I mean, a lot. They have an RV that's about as long as this block almost, okay? And I know I'm exaggerating but they park their cars all around this area. Now I live in a cul-de-sac area and that's the worst area because it's the, the parking area is limited and the way the street is made and everything. Well, they take up all, almost all of this area where I live. So when we have guests to come by, you know, they can't park in front of the house cause there's hardly no room, you know? So that's annoying. And another thing that makes me disgusted now, now this may not be able to be helped. This one, the trash, you know, the trash man, when he puts the trash bin down, now they may not be able to help and if they can't, then so be it. But it still annoys me when they put it down and they put it right down in your driveway. I'm talking about they put our neighbor's trash bin in our driveway, right in the street. So when we back out, let's say we have to go somewhere, we gotta try to squeeze around without hitting it, or we may have to move it. But that's annoying because they don't, I guess they, they're not supposed to get out and you know put it back or put it in a different area. They're just supposed to collect it and go. You know, But that, that makes me angry. Anyway, it's just so annoying. <laughs> anyway, all right. 
but we're almost done. Number four, which is fear. Now me and Allie, we definitely have the same answer to this. Um, when she mentioned that she was afraid of mice and rats, I thought, oh my gosh. That's when I decided I gotta do this tag. When I heard her say that, I said, me too. Allie, yes, we got that in common. We really do. I am petrified. We're not talking about just regular fear. We're talking about petrified of rats and mice. I mean, just saying their name just kind of gives me a little, whew, kind of a weird feeling, but I'm serious. Rats and mice, growing up as a child, um, on and off, we lived with my grandmother and her house was infested with rats and mice. Yes. So um, I've had some, you know, in a lot of encounters with them, okay? One came in my bedroom when I was getting ready for school one time and I literally hit the ceiling. I mean, I, uh, <laughs> I was doing my hair and all of a sudden one came in and oh my gosh, I flew through the bathroom door because we had two doors that connects to the bathroom. And then when you leave that part of the door, it goes into my grandmother's room. It's six o'clock in the morning, and I woke her up all hysterical. <laughs> oh my God! You know all that hystericalness. She was like, "What's wrong? This is a mice!" Oh God! I was so petrified. Oh my gosh! I could tell you guys story after story after story regarding rats and mice, but I won't because I don't want this video to be too long. I've had a lot of encounters with them. Okay, and I try to be brave, but I'm telling you that's not one of my strengths. It really isn't. I mean, I know the the mice, they say, are more, uh, they're more afraid of you. And I know, but that doesn't help me. That does not help because they're, they're quick, they're fast, and they're just creepy. I can't stand to see them. Um, I'm going to tell you this one thing because I have many stories about them, but I got to tell you this one really quick. Long time ago, I actually had a dream that I was around them. Okay, and it seemed like that dream lasted all night long. And do you know when I woke up that morning, the next morning, I had a, I guess you call it a psychological, physiological, whatever, reaction to the dream. I itched. I mean, I was scratching profusely. So intense, and I'm not kidding. It was so intense, it was so, so bad that I had thought that maybe I need to go to the hospital. It was that bad. But I didn't want to go to the hospital because I know you're going to stay there for hour after hour after hour. And I was just trying to be strong and trying to get, because every time I would close my eyes, I would see what was in the dream. I would see those little critters. It was bad. It was bad. I mean, I'm not even exaggerating. It was bad, okay? Just itch after itch. I mean, I'm itching all over and I don't think that my body got red, but it was such an intense itch that I just couldn't stop. And I don't know if I took some Benadryl or it just wore off. I think it might, might have take, taken about two or three hours to wear off if I didn't take anything. So that was bad, okay? But anyway, uh, <laughs> that's enough about those. The next thing that brings fear to me are elevators. Ooh, I know Allie said, I think she said airplanes, which I love to fly. So, but elevators is mine because when I was a child, I got stuck twice. And ever since then, it's been a childhood fear and an adult fear. There was one time I was getting on an elevator and I had to really psych myself out to get on it. I had to breathe because this was a very old elevator and I don't like getting on those especially any elevator really but those old ones oh boy so I was by myself getting on and do you know I when it opened up I kind of walked away and I was, and I don't know if they had stairs or I couldn't find the stairs and I was like I was talking to myself I said Liz you can do this you can do it I had to psych myself out when I got on the elevator uh, I think the elevator took so long to close or something. No, I got on. And then when I got ready to get off, when when it reached my floor, it wouldn't open up right away. <sighs> Woo, you talking about anxiety. Oh yeah, I had anxiety, seriously, okay? Oh my gosh, I nearly 
started hollering almost. I'm not sure if I did or not. And then when it finally opened, because it was a very long delay, I mean, that just had me really going. And when I when it opened up, people were already sitting there and they saw my reaction. And I was kind of embarrassed by how I reacted. I was kind of loud and, <sighs> you know, just, it was real bad. <laughs> now, you may laugh, but it wasn't funny though. But I can laugh about it now. But those are some fears that I have. So that's all I'm going to share today. And the last and final one would be sadness. Oh, I don't want to talk about sadness uh, too much, but you know, there's things that, you know, we all have emotions and there are a lot of things that bring us fear. Um, I just wrote down um, a couple of things, a few things that make me sad. Uh, when family doesn't, family members don't want to get along with you. Let's say something happened in the past and they just won't forgive you. That's very disheartening and it's very painful as well as sad. And you can apologize and truly apologize to that person, but they still won't forgive you. You know, that makes me feel sad. So, um, yeah, because I'm thinking about some situations now. That's why I brought it up, but that makes me feel sad. Moving right along, um, the next thing, so many people, and this is, this is very, very sad. I'm pretty sure you can relate to this by so many people dying of COVID. Yeah, so many people dying of COVID. That makes me feel very, very sad. And I personally know some people who have died of COVID. And the last thing um, that I'm sharing that makes me feel sad, because you know, there's a lot more. Um, now I've shared this before, but I think about this particular person often, and that's my very best friend, Latrice. Yeah, she she didn't die of COVID, but she had a um, a disease that took her out. Well, I don't know how many years ago, six, five, six, but I'm not sure. But anyway, I feel sad because there's times when I really want to talk to her. I just want to call her up and or get together, you know. And it's like we were friends since elementary. Uh, she was the maid of honor in my my wedding. Um, you know, to my husband that I got married to. Um, we've been through so much together and it's like, you know, you just feel you miss that person. And it's very, very sad and painful. I didn't know if I should share that one because look at me, <laughs> I'm getting all emotional. But anyway, I'm gonna stop. That's the end of this tag. <laughs> Get myself together. Okay, anyway, um, if you guys wanna do this tag, feel free. Um, I will put the, they're not really questions, but these five emotions, I will put them in my description box. So you can go ahead and write them down and go ahead and do this tag. So anyway, Allie, I did the tag. So I just wanted to let you know I did it. So anyway, I hope that you guys like this tag. And one other thing that I want to share with you, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, a small giveaway. Yes, to one subscriber. Now, um, the rules, I didn't write them down right now to share them with you because I didn't want to make this video long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to post everything that you need to know about the giveaway in the description box. So check the description box and uh, please adhere to all of the rules. And um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say right now. But as far as the video because one of, part of the rules is you have to watch a video to know what the um, item is that I'm giving away so I'm gonna do my best to link it above here and if I you don't see it here in the video in this video then I will make sure that I link it in my description box but sometimes I get confused a little bit and don't do it right so if you don't see it here above then look in the description box for the video I will lay everything out specifically and hopefully understandable so you guys can, you know, take part of it, okay? So good luck to everybody. Anyway, thank you, Lady Allie, for doing this tag. I don't really know who created it, so I don't know who to give credit to, but I say thank you to Lady Allie because I saw her do the tag. And if she didn't do it, then I would never have known about it. But anyway, that's all for this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe click your bell twice and leave me a comment below give me a big thumbs up okay 
guys. Take care. Be blessed. And I'll see you next time. Bye.